So here are the two functions again, the sine function and the log function. Now this time we're going to embed the sine function inside the log function. So we're going to look at the red, the red graph here. So as I click on that, okay, you can see that there's my graph. Okay, it's got an asymptote at, at zero because as I plug in zero for sine, I get zero, the log of zero, which is negative infinity. I'm going to have the maximum value of positive 1 for sine, and that's going to give me a maximum value of log of 0. Okay, and as we go down here, we go get that. As we hit pi, and from pi to 2 pi, there is a domain restriction because we do not have parts of the graph that can be plugged into log. So the output of sine cannot be incorporated, it cannot be accommodated by the log function. Okay, so this, this is where we have the input for the the output not being able to be part of the input of the outside function.